Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I'm going to be coming up with a quick update to the NavMesh Vehicle AI. So uh, recently I've um, someone told me that there was another version of the vehicles, um, another vehicle component that you can add to a simple pawn. Um, I didn't know this existed for some reason, and it's called the Simple Wheel Vehicle Movement. Now it kind of works as the uh, as the other system, so you know the way that you set up your mesh works the same way. Uh, you know, the animation blueprint is also the same on the mesh. The only thing that changes is that this derives from a pawn and not a, a vehicle pawn. And this component, you add that over here manually. And it doesn't have the, the advanced, uh, like, torque curves and everything like that. Uh, but the setup to the wheels, um, it is the same. So you can just copy and paste that from the normal vehicle. And, yeah, uh, it will work the same. But I need to make uh, I have to make an update because the the code has to change because this system basically um, there's no overall function to uh, like apply um, you know throttle input and steering input you have to do it per wheel and the functions work a little bit differently with the input um, so I have to make some changes with the code that I'm going to show you right now so if I go to uh, the NavMesh vehicle AI. Just want to show you so you know you are uh, you know, aware of how it works. Uh, let me find the uh, the controller. There you go. And I had to add a couple more things over here. So first of all, you have um, <coughs> a few settings. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, you have a few settings that you need to set up. So if you click on the this vehicle over here uh, in the example map. So this is the normal one. This is the new one. Um, with a simple vehicle movement. If you click on my uh, component, you're gonna have a new tab that you can toggle this on and off. So if this is a you know a simple vehicle component, you need to toggle this to true. Then you have the individual components uh, that I added. So the simple torque. So this is kind of like the speed of the car basically. Uh, I set uh, set it to 500. This simple steering angle is the same as the other one. This value should be the same as the wheels. Um, so if I go to the test vehicle, um, if you open this up, uh, let me go to the front wheel, uh, it should be the same value as over here, but I think you can set whatever value you want over here, uh, but I think it might break something, so uh, keep it the same value, so it's the same as the other car, and the brake torque is basically um, how strongly does the car brake, and I made this value uh, super big, so, just, so it's a little bit different from this car when it, for example, goes around that corner, you're going to see the difference in a sec. So inside the controller, there's the three functions that I added. Um, so I changed obviously the rest of the code, but the main functions are over here. So I just want to show this uh, for the reason that because you apply the steering to individual wheels, imagine that you have like um, a three wheeled vehicle or a two wheeled vehicle or you know a vehicle like with seven wheels or something crazy like that. This system can work and you can basically come over here into these three functions in the, the AI controller and basically just copy and paste what is over here uh, and just change the wheel index. So this wheel index over here, if you go back to the pawn and click on the, the component, um, basically those indexes are these ones over here. So if this vehicle had like five wheels, you would add another wheel setup and you will just give it the correct uh, stats over here. So the bone name, the skeletal mesh, the wheel class and uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, but then you'll have to go into this, uh, into my code and basically add this uh, to uh, you know to these functions over here. So if you want that wheel uh, to steer, you add it over here. If you want it to throttle, so accelerate basically, I just have the two back wheels to accelerate. If you want the four wheel drive, you just add the, the zero and one index wheels over here and that will work. You probably just need to adjust the torque because uh, it's going to accelerate twice as fast because it's uh, you know using the strength from four wheels instead of two. Um, and we have the brake, which is basically, um, I just did the brake with the four wheels, but you can, for example, change this to just brake with the back two or the front two, whatever, or just one wheel, but that's going to give you crazy results. Um, you know, but uh, the cool thing about the system that I didn't know uh, is that um, it's pretty modular, so you can add stuff to individual wheels. I'm not sure if you can do that with the other system, but with this system you can. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, so if you want like uh, custom vehicles, uh, like with crazy stuff, this system will work. 
because I already adjusted the inputs, for example, as you can see, to use the correct values. So basically it just receives the input as other system, but in some cases I need to calculate over here. And for example, the steering, I need to multiply it by the steering angle, in this case 70. And for example, the, the torque, um, sorry, I need to click over here, the throttle. Uh, I basically need to multiply this by the torque value. So, but yeah, uh, it basically works the same and you can add whatever number of wheels you want, you know, and experiment with that if you want. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that now uh, for clicking simulate so you can see. So this car is going to be a bit more slow. That one is going to catch more speed. Um, yeah, they're both going to go to the target point that it's over there. And you can see that the first car is going to turn a little bit more smoothly. Uh, but this one is going to, there you go is going to kind of drift because his braking is uh, a lot more uh, strong. But you can reduce the value uh, on the brake torque setting. There you go. And because the, like he stops so quickly, because you know, again, the brake torque is a uh, big number, so he's gonna stop a little bit behind the, the target point, but that's by default. And yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you that I added this up and just show you that you can, you know, add your own vehicles and stuff with uh, a custom amount of wheels. And yeah, I just wanted to make this system, uh, you know, this work inside the system by default. For example, uh, if you want to add another custom, you know, vehicle classes that, for example, um, the Chaos Vehicles from Unreal Engine 5, I already have a video for that um, in my product page. But yeah, I just wanted to make this... Uh, inside the system because it's, you know, it's not a completely different system, but it's different enough that people uh, are going to have a little bit of difficulty to make it work. So I just wanted to add that in, yeah. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that and I'll see you all in the next video, bye-bye.